everyone, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this particle connect visual look. So we'll start by deleting everything and starting fresh. I'll put down a noise top. Change the resolution to half of 1920 by 1080, so 960 by 540. And I'll make it to 32 bit float. I'll change the period to 1.75. The harmonian mix is 2. Hermes speed 1.15. Gain 1.5. Exponent to 2. Amplitude to 0.3635. And transform, I'm going to make it move. So in the Y, I can put abs time dot seconds times. 0 0.05 and I'll also do it the same for tz abs time dot seconds dot 0.05 so it's moving so I'll add another noise it'll be in same resolution so 960 by 540 and make it 32 bit flip great and then this one pyramid uh, period 2, harmonics 3, harmonic speed 1.5, harmonic gain 1.3, exponent 2, amplitude 1.5, and make it the, the color. Same thing, ty abs dot seconds, abs time dot seconds times 0.5, and then I'll copy and paste this for a tz. Now add a displace, and I'll hook these two up. In the displace weight, I'll make it 0.2, and UV weight to also 0.2. Great. So this will be our normal for, uh, first add an add. I'll put a null after this. Change the null name to height map. I'll explain why later. And then add another noise. And this noise, I'll change the resolution. This one to 1920 by 1080. Since we're comping these together, it will change it to 90 by 20, 1080. Go through a 2 bit float and change the type to random. And amplitude to 0 0.3. Um, I'm going to add a level to lower the opacity. So under this tab, I'll make it 0.5 for opacity and then add it to add. So these grains will make the particles for the visual. So I'll add a lookup here, make it into color. So lookup, you can add a ramp. And the ramp, you can just change this resolution to 1920 by 1080. And the ramp, you can change to what color you want. I will make this purple, and it'll be this pink color, and then white. We hook it to a second input. Oops. The color will have, yeah, it will have the color of the ramp um, for I used this color layer picker lover picker tool and I add a null and then from that you can select any palette inside this picker so this isn't in the palette so we, it's I download it you can look up color lover picker and the first thing that comes up you can download this asset and it's pretty great it's an easy way to get really nice colors. So now we have the background visual. Let's add the connect element. So I'll add a connect and then change it to player index. Change the pixel format to be 32 bit float. And afterwards, hook up a threshold top. The RGB will be RGB average and lower the threshold until you see a silhouette. Great. 
After this, I'll add a null. Good practice. And um, before the null, I'll put a fit top and make change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Great. So after the height map, I add a comp posit top and I'll hook the null, the connect. I'll change it to difference. I'll just make this layer above. Great. Now add another null. I'll change this null name to color map. Great. So we have a color map, we have a height map. And right after the add, the black and white visual, I'm going to add a normal map top and then hook that up. So we have a normal map, height map, and color map. Great. So we'll do in a SOP, we'll add a grid SOP. And we'll have it in 1920 by 1080 resolution. So a trick you can put 16 to 5, 9. And then change rows and columns to 512. After that, I will add a attribute create and turn on compute tangents. After that, I will add a convert SOP and change convert to particles per vertex. Add a geometry. And we'll add a light camera and a material, add a phone material. And the phone material, so we're going to put the normal map where the normal maps, oops, I'm going to delete that, put it back to normal map. Then put the color map where the color map is. And then enable, enable height map. And put the height map, the height map. There we go. I'll in, turn the displacement vertex on. Put the scale up to 1.35. Display scale to 4. And midpoint to 1. Put this material in the geometry and let's add a render top and move the camera closer so 1.2 great from here we'll add a we'll just put this down so we'll add a over we'll have the render above and under the height map so it's a texture behind the visual. And that's pretty much it. Let's add a null and change this null name to out. Have this display tag on. And you can do some post processing. I can add a level. And I'll change the gamma 1 to 0 0.8. Like this color a bit more so that's it that's how you can make this visual you can choose to um, play around with the noise you can create different looks you can change the look up pick another color experiment or use a ramp and choose your own saturation different combinations of colors I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make something cool, feel free to tag me. My Instagram is at crystaljowart, and thank you. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you're serious about learning touch designer and getting into our interactive and immersive industry, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can click the link in the description to learn more about that. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the little bell icon for more awesome free content.